Hi guys, it's Catherine, and today's Fangirl Freakouts video is about the premiere of Houdini and Doyle on Fox this week. So if you didn't watch Houdini and Doyle, you definitely should. The show is really, really good. Um, I feel like that was a lot of saying the word really. But the show is really interesting. In the premiere, you're sort of dropped right into the action. There's not really any character introduction. I think it's assumed that you'll know who, who Harry Houdini is and who Sir Arthur Conan Doyle is. So there's no real like backstory explanation. Um, they do show Houdini doing an escape trick. Um, he's doing an underwater escape trick, which Houdini was famous for. And then they show Doyle at a book release for a Sherlock book. So they like give you a bit of a peek in case you're not super familiar with either character. But there's no like intensive like this is Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Da, 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 da. Um, beyond that, the episode starts right off with a murder. Um, it's at a nunnery, so there's a woman. Well, one of the sisters is found dead in her room. It's a locked room, so it's one of those like locked room mysteries where how did the murderer get in? How did the murderer get out? Um, as another sister is there, she walks in, finds the body, and then insists. She sees a ghost, and she thinks the ghost did it because a girl recently died, and she thinks that ghost is getting revenge on the sisters that were involved with the chain of events that led to her um, accidental death. It's not like this ghost was not murdered. Um, she was punished for something and so died due to complications from their, like, you have to sit outside in the rain overnight plan which would I mean it would have killed someone she was already kind of sickly um she'd been pregnant and it's just sort of like a big crazy thing so there's I don't want to give too much away because I really want you to watch the premiere episode and if I give you like a full summary I, you might watch it or you might be like Catherine really you told me everything that happens why would I watch that now so those are like some tidbits of what happens in the plot so there is a ghost, or isn't there a ghost? Doyle is really into spiritualism and the idea that um, ghosts exist, the supernatural is true, while Harry Houdini is a huge skeptic. He's like, no, that stuff's not real. I mean, he's a performer, he's not an actual, like, seer of ghosts, he doesn't do actual magic. He actually does a lot of, like, he does a couple stage tricks to try and convince Doyle that this ghost can't be a ghost. Um, so there's this back and forth between like, is it a ghost? Isn't it a ghost? There's a lot of teasing where things look like there could be a ghost. Um, our main characters even see what they think could be a spirit while also getting like cold chills and freaking out because the room that they're in is like shaking and crazy. So there's some like, oh, it could be a ghost. Or maybe it isn't. Maybe, maybe it is. Oh, it was a really cool like, maybe, maybe not sort of thing going on. So besides Houdini and Doyle, the main characters. We also have a third character, um, Inspector, not Inspector, Constable Adelaide, who is played by Rebecca Lydiard, who some of you may know who watch my channel. Um, she was in the kind of TV series Mislabeled. Um, she's primarily in the first season. She's in the second season, but does like smaller stuff. And she did some of their like extra episodes that were connected to their tea sponsor. So she wasn't really in season two a lot, but she was the, the like driving force main character for the first season. So if you haven't watched that, you should check it out. It's very different from Houdini and Doyle. It's not supernatural. It's about a girl working at, or as an intern at a fashion design company. So way different. But she's great in Houdini and Doyle. She's really like she's kick-ass she takes someone down in a bar with her baton and at one point Houdini tells her that she's not he thinks she's dumb because she believes Doyle and in like she thinks that it could be a ghost there's she's like well it could be there's no saying it like we don't know for certain that it's not and Houdini like insults her and says like she should just find someone to get married like if she thinks these kind of things and she goes off and is like no I have this job because she's a constable which was not something a lot of women in the Victorian period could do um, the police in London did hire some women but primarily for like clerical work or to like 
check female inmates so they wouldn't really investigate um the investigation stuff was considered more men's work um and they were they were thought they would be in danger if they were like out by themselves so the reason she's working with Houdini and Doyle is that their um inspect the like head chief inspector has put her as like a nursemaid he says that she's just supposed to make sure that Houdini and Doyle don't get themselves in trouble like he she's just supposed to make sure that they don't screw anything up so she's just sort of supposed to monitor them he doesn't really want her actually investigating but she does do so like she's out in the field collecting clues looking for stuff so she has a lot more work that she's doing she is actually like helping try and solve the case but she like espouses a bunch of like we women should be able to do like have actual jobs and shouldn't be forced to marry into like a life where all we can do is like make a man happy and wear pretty dresses because that's not what we're supposed to do as a person. So she has a very feminist character for a show set in the Victorian period which is great. Um, I really liked that aspect of her and I'm excited to see more of her in the future because I think she's gonna do some pretty intense stuff. I think she's gonna like hardcore solve it and like I want her to like work her way up but I don't know if that's gonna be possible because the chief inspector already like told her that she got sort of a promotion she doesn't have to file clerk anymore but um he's not happy about it he doesn't want her up with the guys he wants to keep her down in the file room away from everyone else so that could be a problem uh, there's gonna be some tension because um there just has to be because men in the police station aren't going to accept the fact that there's a woman who's like on their same level um this well it's not even the victorian period it's 1901 but some of those victorian ideals are still there um since the victorian period just sort of ended it's the Edwardian. yes sorry history thing not super important right now um but the premiere was really cool the reveal at the end as to whether it is a ghost or isn't a ghost is very intriguing uh we also get to see some water escapes you get to see um what else do you get to see some of the conditions for women at the time, um, Re um, Constable Adelaide talks about them. I almost called her Rebecca. I mean, technically, she was Rebecca, but she was in character. Um, you see that. It was just really interesting. Uh, there were some, like, nods to actual things that happened with um, Houdini and Doyle, which was cool. Uh, I'm really just excited to see more of it. I thought the dialogue was good. I really liked the reveal at the end and how things were explained. Uh, there's also a little bit of a tease at the very, very end. There's a piano. You'll see. It was, it was sneaky and I thought it was cool. So yeah, that was, it was just a really good show. I really want people to check it out. You can see it on Fox Now and on Hulu. Um, I'm also pretty sure it's on Fox On Demand, but I don't know. I, I don't have Fox On Demand. Um... But yeah, I also have a video with some Houdini and Doyle inspired like fun facts that you can check out. It's called Pop Culture Clef Notes because I'm Clef Notes. Haha. <laughs> um, but you can check that out on my channel too. Um, let's see. I just keep saying the word um because I'm like, I want to make sure I don't leave anything out today. There is a playlist over on Kinda TV called Houdini and Doyle World of Wonders, hosted by Rebecca Lydiard, that goes into some detail about mysticism-y stuff, uh, how sanses are done, underwater escapes, straitjacket escapes. So I thought that was really cool. They're really intense one. Super creeped me out and when you watch them you will see, I think. I just really like them. I watched all of them in a row. It was really fun. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Clef Notes on my blog clefnotes.wordpress.com. I write for the Nerdy Girl Express and run their Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP, and I post recipes on the iZombie Support Group site, iZombiesupportgroup.com. And if you like this video, you should give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more of me, you should subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys!